like how do carrier pigeons work you put a message on the pigeon and it carries it to the but how, but how do they know, know where, where to, to go? go oh my god i've always wondered this don't worry right. about it man or like you know like in game of thrones they're like oh we'll send a raven send a raven where how do they know what if what if like how do they know? I don't get it either. Do they train the birds? And if so, how do they train them? If I was somebody back in those days who saw those things, I'm going to shoot down the raven and see what the message says. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I'm killing the bird. No, but I just don't get it. Like, like I, what if it's like a strong wind? And I like, know you would have to have you would have to bring them there because my uncle used to have pigeons and he used to bring them to the cottage. And when he's ready to leave. He would just let them fly, and he would race them back home. So, so they're kind of trained, like they know their home. Yeah, but in those movies and shows and stuff, like they're sending them like long distances. Long, long, and it's crazy that you say that because I actually brought this up because biblically speaking, <laughs> with the Noah and the Ark, and they let the dove go. How did the dove know to come back? I would have just flown until I died if there was nowhere to it land. Probably, yeah, it probably came back because there was nowhere else to go. Yeah, but to know where to come back to. Well, probably like as far as the little... Eyes can see. Yeah. That's crazy <laughs> to me. Oh, God. I I've always wondered always... that. I'm so happy yeah. you asked. Yeah, they know I... where to deliver the messages because they know where their homes are. That's why. So but... they just send them home? Sensory. Like, I get the second part where if I get the message, I'm just going to, okay, bye. And it goes home. But to get to me... Like even in like, guess, like anime, they do it. The they just message. nested. They just flew to where they're nested. No, but to go out. like if I have a pigeon, it's my pigeon, yeah. and I send a message to you. Yeah. How does it know to get to you? I think it's unless like, it's your it pigeon to, like, and you Eugene's give it to me. Village, and then they open it a little bit, and they're like, "Okay, this is for Eugene." I think that's why nobody had secrets back then because they had to like peek at someone's letter to know that it was for them. And then, like you see, like oh, he but for this the is bird for to know to go to that village, it's like okay, I'm gonna send a message to Joe in Brampton. Oh no, don't do that! And the <laughs> the bird ends up in Saskatchewan. D- don't like don't. how does it know to go to Brampton? So the only thing I thought about was Witchcraft? when <laughs> <laughs> when you have like arrangements with certain cities or villages or whatever. I would be like, here, Hugh, here's my bird. If you ever need me, send it to me. Yeah. And that way it knows to come back to me. And it also knows your. Thank you. That's the only thing I thought about that could make sense. Yeah. You know, there's pigeons that were World War I heroes. Because they would get like shot. Do they get like medals? Yeah. You can find pictures of them. Really? Oh, that's a little metal. There's like one that got shot multiple times and it still flew and sent a message. Oh, really? Because yeah, like... you guys be like, oh, there's a pigeon, shoot it! Yeah, I would. Oh, yeah, to stop oh, communication. Nine, that nine. Makes sense. Inter- Anything that leaves the village in the air, kill it. Man, they're just. Wow. A lot of horses were war heroes and whatnot. Interesting. Yeah. Welcome back to the square room. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have new episodes every single Tuesday. My name is Jonelle. Um, I'm with Eugene and Des Wayne, and I actually found something out this weekend. About um, yourself or? About myself. Oh, okay. Um, I thought I thought I was, you know, a normal you young that? woman. <laughs> I did. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, jeez. I did until <laughs> three separate people told me I actually have a problem and I probably need to see a doctor. <laughs> okay. What's new? So I don't poop every day. Yeah. And like. Oh, I still think that's so. normal. Yeah. Comes on to your diet. No, but that's the thing. Like, I am. So the thing is, I usually don't eat multiple meals a day. Typically, I'm just one. So it's like you know, like sometimes, it, especially if it's at the end of the day, like you mm-hmm. don't, you don't poop. Um, I'm like I'm never constipated. Like I'm regular, but I'm I'm not an everyday pooper. And when I tell people this. They're just like, what is wrong with you? They're like, no, like you're backed up, like something is wrong. And like, I remember even calling like two of my girlfriends, and they were both like, no. Three times a week is normal. Any from anywhere. Right. So I looked it up, and Hugh, you have it in front of you. Yeah, anywhere from three times a day to three times a week is normal. Right. Three times a day. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. that's the thing. I talked to someone like, yeah, like I can poop like two, three times a what day. The- and I was like, if I'm pooping two to three times a day, I'm I think sick. there's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's yeah. never been an, a time when I've had like healthy poops three times a day. Yeah. Because for me, it's like I every ate day something or two. And it's not, yeah. yeah. When you just come in when I'm eating, like, if I'm eating mostly meat, it's probably going to be once a day. And it's going to be like a little. 
and that's it. <laughs> but if it's more like carbs and stuff, then it's probably gonna be more multiple times a day. Or like high fiber or yeah. whatever. But they like I was like, oh no. And like I immediately got off the phone and went and ate a bowl of oatmeal because <laughs> I was like, I, I need a bowl. I need a bowl. But like you guys think it's like I'm okay? I think you're fine. I've never okay. thought you were like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hugh. No, the thing is though, like it's not like, oh, only for the last month. Like I've been like this for, for years. Yeah. So like I think that I would have, you know. Like I think I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I don't poop every day. <laughs> you don't either? No, I think that's weird. Yeah, so can you imagine like three times like people yeah that's people aren't you who are tired like, I need my morning poop <laughs> yeah i need a morning poop you need a like yeah why? i normally just poop in the morning for the most part that's crazy to me yeah for me like poop. i need to poop in the morning because then I, my day's not like then like i'm not fully like it's like a, a nice start to the day you like start, release it, everything yeah it lets my i mean i, I get lose, it i lose some weight you know? i get it but for my body my body like i don't know at, at most, I'll have to pee in the morning, you know? Like, oh, always. Yeah. Always. But, like, that's about that. Mm. So, I mean, that that's me. Mm. Des, how are you? Uh, I'm, I should, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, it's, it's a hit or miss because <laughs> I'm used to not sleeping. That's not good. And that's I've, guys. I've had bad sleeping habits from, I was in high school, to be honest. That's why we're friends, because we're on the same back. <laughs> yeah, you don't schedule? remember? We used to be on the phone like all night, and it yeah. would be like five in the morning. We're like, okay, uh, I'm going to try and get some sleep. I got to be up for seven. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, fucked. 100%. I, I know I am. And like, it's at the point where yesterday I was, um, I was at work and I was going to train this guy, and he's supposed to meet with me in 20 minutes. He has a 20 minute break, then he's going to come to where I was. So I'm sitting there and I'm waiting for him the 20 minutes. I look at the phone and there's f- maybe seven to ten minutes left. And I open my eyes and he was standing right in front of me. I fell asleep in that seven minutes without even knowing I fell asleep. And even just now, like when I got here, Hugh, you were in the bathroom. Mm. I saw you get up and go to the bathroom. Mm. I blinked and I heard. <sighs> and I, I kind of opened my eyes and I was like, that couldn't have been Kingsley. Did I fall asleep? <laughs> yeah, Hugh. In the time that you went to the bathroom, Des fell asleep twice. Yeah, <laughs> because no, he woke I, himself I fall up during the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> during? Yeah, I've, I've fallen asleep during the podcast before. Hugh, 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 He's I'm tired. Asleep. I just came from work and I'm working outside in like 30 plus degree weather. Man. Yeah, tired. for me it's just yeah. whatless. <laughs> like, yeah, but like we're like trying to talk to you and you're just like. I'm like <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I've done it. Yeah. I'm like if I go to go drive and pick up somebody, like, and I'm like, okay, I'm outside and they're like, okay, give me a couple minutes. You're out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. No, don't start yawning now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just I need to figure it out because I yeah, know you guys do, and I think <laughs> this is why I don't want to get old because I know I'm gonna be one of those old people who are just aches and pains and nothing but sleep. Just take thousand milligrams. You of, young kids, get off my. Take a <laughs> yeah, take a thousand milligrams of magnesium before you go to before you want. It makes you tired. He's not gonna, he's not gonna do. But it. I don't want. It makes me tired. Yeah. I'm always tired. Well, then take it. At That's the problem. I'm always tired, no, but I don't get this. To sleep. regulate his sleep yeah. schedule, so Wait. like he wants to sleep for a good well, eight hours. You guys are just... fucked. Like even today, uh, hey, I've been I worked sleeping a, well this last week. I, I worked have. a twelve-hour shift hey. <laughs> till next week. Little, little, little victories, little victories. <laughs> One at a time. Wouldn't um, you be happy for a week? One hundred percent. Oh my god, mm-hmm. I'd be so happy. Uh, I don't know this pain. <laughs> um, I worked a twelve-hour shift, and in that twelve-hour shift, I fell asleep for seven minutes. <laughs> it's also because you work nights. I see. I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, it's because you work nights. Because I used rhythm to. Is fucked. I used to be okay. Like I used to get home from work. Well, I used to go to the gym and then come home, sleep, wake up at like three, four, do some stuff about my day, and then have a nap before work. Yeah, hey, you're not doing. But anything I've had a though. three, four month break from work, and that completely yeah. messed up everything. Yeah, because you were human again. And even the thought of getting back on track, I'm like, ugh. God, hey, yeah, that's you had why. the same thought about um, going out into the sunlight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's crazy that you said that because um, I was sitting with Caden's mom the other day. We're just sitting on a hill and like we're just talking and stuff, and she's sitting in the sun and I'm sitting in the shade and I'm looking around and she's like, "Des, this is what daytime looks like." Like, <laughs> yes, people are out. And I'm looking at people go about their day and do stuff, and I'm like, 
Yeah, Everyone's like so just, like, weird. Everyone's lived in captivity their whole life and is finally <laughs> free and they're just like. It's so weird. It's so loud and there's so uh, many cars and angry uh, people and oh god, uh, I don't know. I just can't do daytime stuff. Send it's me weird. Back to the night. Please, I come alive <laughs> in the nighttime. Back to the darkness you go. <laughs> <laughs> go back to from whence you came. Yeah, I just I just can't do it. And even like the the little bits that I sleep, I have like random dreams and I'm like, "Whoa. How did I have a dream in 3 minutes?" That's crazy. Yeah, you actually stay dreaming. Stay and it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, speaking of dreams. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't do that, Joe. Because I know you didn't pay attention, but he had a talk with himself last week because he was saying he's gonna do the goofy laugh, and he didn't do it on the last episode. Yep. So I knew it was coming this episode. So when it came, he did. He talked to himself. He's it's like, oh, I should have did the goofy, goofy one." You're okay. You just do the most, so it's just like because Goofy uh, does the most. No, but like you know that like psychopathic Goofy that that mean yeah, thing. That's, that's what, what like. you remind that's me. That's what I like. Does remind me to send it to you. It okay. is like <laughs> nah about the dreams and the dreams and the sex dreams and the dreams. So when's the Whoa. last time? <laughs> Nobody said sex. You, you just like <laughs> drop that in there. <laughs> um, no, because uh, like I went from like a. I just started. Just, I decided to stop touching my pee pee. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. I was fine. Okay. Um, and all of a sudden, I just started having like sex dreams. Mm-hmm. Wait, you, this is like a recent decision, or is this like a yeah, lo- long time ago? No, I just felt like it. Um, that means recent. Yeah, yeah was I was like, what? That answer <laughs> my question. And I was like, oh, this was, wasn't that hard. It no, because like we've talked about no, not November, so yeah. I don't know if this story is. No, from... I just felt like it. I just felt like not touching my pee pee. Um, you know, you. and then I stopped touching my peeps. But I noticed, I was like. <laughs> you're, no, like, you're like I stopped touching my peeps like it's like I stopped touching my, my friends people. my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch your friends without consent you're mad no, them no I realized I started having um more sex dreams and I had this one where I was like the only thing I will allow above me is God and a butt and then all of a sudden huh? an <laughs> ass a vagina like a, someone sitting on my slowly started lowering like slowly I mean slowly I'm just like descending <laughs> From above. My hands. Hugh, you got it. <laughs> you nobody, got it. nobody can understand you. I'm just laying there. I'm just sta- I'm like staying there, like looking up, just like 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 cross pose, and then slowly just like a just a cooch, just <laughs> from the air. Like this comes out of nowhere. No legs. Was it no attached human. to a body? No, it was a human. There's like oh. a, I don't oh, remember the okay. person looked like. <laughs> But, but no, it's just a floating coochie. No, it was a person <laughs> just like slowly falling from in the your sky. face. No, I didn't land on my face. That's when I woke up. Uh, Once it was like right there. I you're like, like oh, oh my god. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> Eugene, y'all, he just did this weird thing with his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just woke up. <laughs> so like, was like, how do you cackle that hard? Like, and then yeah, just I yeah, just I just woke, woke up. up. <laughs> like that was it. I just woke up from that. <laughs> so you said. So let me get this straight. You I just said have, in the dreams, the only thing that was above you. I said to myself, butts and no. I Jesus? said the only thing that's that I la- I'm fine with being above me is God and ass. And all of a sudden, you just like that's Ooh. blasphemous, you know? Yeah, I said it in a dream. So you're, At least I put God first. You're, Ish. You're blasphemous both in real life and in your dreams. <laughs> I think that's just like, something just about you. Slowly started lowering towards my mouth. So maybe it was my actually face. supposed to be a butt that was lowering, but you know the butt was close to the yeah. the cooch. Yeah. 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 When was the last time you guys had uh, <laughs> three <laughs> days ago? Yeah. A sex dream? I have yes. them all the or time. Or like any all sort of sexual. Dream? It was weird when I just when I stopped touching my pee. I had them like a lot. That's when I remember because it was. <laughs> It was kind of funny to me, but like I had like after like day two, it was just like dream, dream, dream. And normally, and it was weird because like when I'm cause I'm not on a weed break because that's mm-hmm. I, when I'm not when I'm kind of because I'm doing edibles right now because my neighbor gave me an edible from a reservation, so I'm just trying to finish it off. And then after that, I'm gonna take my break. Um, but normally, when I'm doing the drugs, I don't have any <laughs> dreams at all. But it was weird. I once I stopped touching my pee pee, the, the just the sexual dreams. That's all I would have. It was the sex dreams. So when was the last time you guys had uh, sex dreams? And what was the sex dream about? Uh, la, 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 la. 
Gross. <laughs> that was my left ear. <laughs> like, um, uh, what was it about? I, I can tell you who. Uh, like, what wasn't it about? It was with uh, my son's mom, to be honest. Um, really? Yeah, it was really weird, but it was. My dreams are usually very realistic. So I don't even think I told her this one because when I tell her the ones that are about her, she's just like, ew, like, stop thinking about me. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know about it. It was a one time thing. But I just I I know it's because of how my sleep routine is, you know, scroll through Instagram, check mm. Snap, OK, mm. plug my phone in mm. and find a video mm. and now beat your shit. Mm. So because I always have a little routine, I know it's the last thing on my mind. And that's why I have these dreams. But I don't I don't mind them at all. I wake up and I'm like, <laughs> call the person I thought about you last night. Really? Yeah, I had a dream. Oh my God, what was it? Yeah, once they hear that, they're yeah. like, "Ew." Ugh, yes. that's what you now? Come on my face again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, surprise, surprise. I don't really have many sex dreams. They're for me. They're very like sporadic. Like it's not like you like oh I'm scrolling through Instagram. So the last thing on my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, so I honestly don't even remember what my last one was. It was probably months ago. Like I, it's been a long time. The thing is for me though, I unlike you don't dream about people that i know i've never once had a sex dream i've had like regular you know dreams mm-hmm. or like i've had nightmares about people that i know <laughs> but no i actually had one where my my elementary school friend was trying to kill me and all of my friends it was very very vivid um but i've never had a sex dream about someone i know it's always like a stranger oh, i shouldn't even say a stranger in the dream i know them but when mm-hmm. i wake up i'm like that's not a real person you know yeah, i've seen them in like in probably someone i passed but yeah because yeah, yeah. they say everyone in your dream is a face that you've seen yeah, yeah. but it's like not someone like it's not like oh it's you it's like someone i know mm-hmm. um i don't know why that is i've never dreamed about someone i know in that way but like because they're so sporadic for me sometimes and i i don't know i always like half wake up you know, just when it's getting good. Oh, yeah. And you kind of wake up and then you're, you're like, no, like, no, 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 Land no. on my face. Land on it. I mean, no. But... <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like you try. And you know what? I can, to a certain extent, try to will myself back yeah, to sleep. I've and done back, it. And back in the dream. Mm-hmm. But it, it's not the same. It's like. It was not genuine. At this point, because. Okay, so up until this point, the dream is leading. Mm-hmm. But I feel like when I force myself back, You're yes, forcing I'm leading. It, yeah. I'm leading the dream? the dream. No, I don't remember. Like I have, oh. I have different ones. But like I don't have them often. So I get them all the time. I love them. Sorry to disappoint. Um I don't I, I think this is fine. Um I was talking to my son's mom and she was like telling me, like, you know, you're gonna have to talk to him. I tried to talk to him, but you know, it's different coming from me. But she's like, she woke up, you know, they met in the kitchen because he has his own room and they met in the kitchen. And she's like, he had like a little wet spot. Ooh, he had a wet dream. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, oh, you know, don't worry. They're normal. And he's like, what are you talking about? Like, nothing yeah, see, happened. See, like, I'm you, fine. You never know. You never know. That reminds me of the story that you yeah, told a while ago where like it. your brother and your dad were like, <laughs> yeah, and you were like, like, busting in your pants, boy. Yeah. Oh. Um. So I tomorrow I pick him up. And we're gonna have that talk tomorrow. See, so which skeeted in your pants. Say. Yeah, it's not that big Don't of a deal. That, you I, know. you know, all it is as a boy, like you, like if it's normal, it's normal, you know. But you just feel so weird when certain things happen to you, yeah. and you're like, I can't tell anybody. Mm. They're gonna think I beat myself. I, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, I knew. I didn't know when I immediately played. changed. I didn't know. Why do you have so much laundry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've ever had like a wet dream in I don't that think way. Girls that... Have wet dreams like I mean, that. yeah, yeah, they do. Well, of yeah, course. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. I've heard girls tell me they woke up and it's just soaking, moist, it's flowing down there. I don't think it's ever as like serious as guys because y'all can like actually like it looks yeah, like you yeah. pee the bed sometimes. Yeah. But um, no, it for sure happens. Um, it's funny because I like <laughs> when I. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, we want to laugh, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm preemptively laughing because I know you guys are going to roast me. That's too early. Um, But I'm also bringing my friends into this, so you better roast all of us. Um, me and my group of friends in high school, like, we were so innocent and so sweet and so pure-hearted, you know? That's a lie. No, we actually were. Oh, okay. So, we had this thing. 
You remember that old song? I think it's like a Timberland song, and it's like Elevator. I was like, got me stuck on my elevator first floor. Yeah, yeah, floor. floor. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we we use that that old song as a reference. Oh my god! And when we would talk about like our experiences with boys, instead of first we, base and second base, essentially, yeah, right. So we had you know first floor, second floor. I think we went up to five floors. Oh my Jesus Christ! And we had the basement. Oh boy! <laughs> so it was like, um, like first floor was like you know like nothing like holding mm-hmm. hands, a peck, whatever. Um, second floor was I think like kissing third floor is friends kissing my tongue third no I think that was second third floor I think was hand stuff if I'm not mistaken hand stuff (laughs) shut up I told you you guys are gonna make fun of me hand stuff (laughs) we locked our fingers fourth floor was I think oral if I'm not mistaken he kissed me on the lips fifth floor was the shebang that's crazy because if that was my brain, I would have put shebang at four and oral at five. I I may be wrong, but no, but I think we definitely put the actual yeah, sex higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, good for you guys, because I wouldn't have. Why? I don't know, because back then, oral was like, ew. Yeah, oral, looking ew. cooch was taboo. Yeah, I'd rather have Don't sex with you. Don't want man. Your yeah. brainer? Wait, no, probably, for, yeah, for a guy's perspective, but like, as long as I have been alive, but not as long as I've been alive, but as long as I've been like a young, innocent, post pubescent woman, head has always been expected, like from women, you know, like that's normal, like, oh, like a girl is supposed to do that. So, like, in our brains, we're like, okay, like that's just, you know, yeah, that's kind of what expected. it's gonna get to. It has to so. go on our elevator, you and know. He's not gonna stick his dingling in my thingling, though. Right. So, it's like, so we would like have an experience and I'd be like, oh my God, guys. We went to the third level. I went level. to the second floor tonight. We're like, oh my God. <laughs> what did it look like? <laughs> no, no, no. Second floor. That's not. No. Oh, oh. oh, right, right. Kissing. We're at French kissing. Sorry. Uh, second floor is, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, French kissing. You're right. <laughs> it's, it's stupid, but it was like, That's we were cute. actually so innocent. Like there was only one of us in the group who ever reached the fifth floor while we were still doing mm-hmm. this, you know, scale thing. And it's funny because we had one friend who was like not talking to boys, not doing anything. Mm. We had so our friend roasted and she was like, Well, you in the basement with the cobwebs, like, <laughs> you know, and then we had another friend. Um, so for those of you who don't know what the CN Tower is, it is the Canadian National Tower. It is the second tallest building in the world. It used to be the first. It's like, you know, when you see the skyline of the of it's Toronto. Not the second tallest anymore. It's probably like the tenth tallest. Probably now, yeah. yeah it's like the Whatever. Tallest. It used to be the tallest freestanding building in the world. It is a Canadian landmark. It is in Toronto. When you see the skyline, that's what it is. Blah blah mm. blah. That's not important. The point is, you see how it has like a little tippy top right at the top. So the joke was um, that my friend said was our friend who was a you know much more experienced than us. You're like she's not even on the fifth floor Four. anymore. She is hanging off the top of the <laughs> CN Tower <laughs> at this point. Um, she was a part of the the um, the elevator thing though, so she was in on that joke. But um, yeah. I think, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> but um, no, it was just crazy how. Um, like innocent we were yeah, back then. Is, like I wasn't having wet dreams. I wasn't like doing any. Wasn't masturbating. Yeah, I still don't. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, switching paces a little bit. I wanted to ask you, gentlemen, do you feel that the internet has ruined pop culture? Uh, I f- feel like it's ruined everything. <laughs> I mean. You're not wrong. Specifically, what I mean by that is, you know, before smartphones and internet access everywhere, there was, like, think about a concert, right? There's just more excitement to see a concert, um, you know, or for, like, an artist to release a new mm-hmm. album. You know, the excitement, the hype. Do you remember, like, um, what was that store? What was it called? The one that you can, like, literally go buy CDs? HMV. 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 She said, what's that store? No, like, I remember yeah, as a HMV. kid, HMV. like... At STC. Jeez! You go over there, you put those headphones on? Yeah. Okay, well, sorry, go ahead. I public headphones, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I remember my first CD ever was... Um, and I don't even think, like, it was right when it came out. I'm sure my mom got it for me, like, way after. But, like, it was the Britney Spears Baby One More Time CD. And oh, I used boy. to play that on repeat. No, but you know what I mean? There yeah, was, like, the excitement yeah. of a CD. We went through the phases You're of, like... at the track list. Like, burning CDs, like, with your uh-huh. favorite songs yeah. on it and everything. Is it, like, a stack of... Oh, burn boy, CD I burned CDs like it was there nothing. There was, like, there was a joy, like, when you made your CD or your playlist with or your whatever. With what you want? Yeah. Ooh. 
Ooh. and like you don't get that same enjoyment like no, listen just, I have Spotify but like it's, it's not the same it's right the same. No. and like it's in many ways it's better like I can listen to random music f- discover new things but yeah, it's, it's just, just not the same. it's different you know like movies movies were exciting to watch because you had to go to the theater yeah, or you had to wait for it to come out on DVD yeah. remember like DVDs had like the fucking thing like movies that were gonna come out later like the right yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't even remember. I remember, that. yeah. I remember I'd go to uh, what's it called? Block. What is Blockbusters. It? Not block. There's the other one, the red one. You know what's one? The um, ninety nine. No, that's one. video ninety nine. Video ninety nine. I would go. I didn't go to. Well, I did go to Blockbuster a couple times. And then they had the private section. Yeah, that we were- that's the first time I saw porn. <laughs> I went to. Um, I didn't know Blockbuster had porn. They block, all did. Yeah, they had it all did. They all just have it like separated. Yeah. Well, it would that be makes like sense. They're not gonna have a front center. Was it video ninety nine or was it the Markville one? The one that you know, the one that's in the Port Union Plaza that used to be there. The it was, it was in the it wasn't Markville. It was called something like that. Oh, I don't know that. But one. there was like it was. I think it was Video Ninety Nine. That was in the when it used to be called Dominion Plaza. Yes, and I remember exactly where that Video Ninety Nine was, and I remember like remember I, I think we we're just gonna rent a movie, and then I remember seeing like a door, and I remember just opening it, and it was just like a there's just a movie playing, and then uh-huh. the whole walls were just covered in nudie posters, and I'm just uh-huh. like, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I did the same thing too. Yeah. They had a Video 99 in my area, and I, I used to always go there. My mom would give me some money, mm. go rent a movie, whatever, mm. and I would go, and like one day I, I knew what was back there, and I wanted to see myself, so I opened the door, and like I look, and I'm like, yep. Not for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, this is a too much too that. And that's how Des's addiction was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Netflix ruined that, man. Yeah, movies aren't as... Honestly, to be fair, like, movies in that way were ruined before Netflix because of, like, illegal pirating yeah, online. Yeah, that's yeah. what yeah. I mean. Netflix still, just it was put still, it together. And yes, Netflix is a part of the internet, yeah. but, like, like, even, like, meeting a celebrity... Like you see a celebrity on the street, it's a big deal. Yeah. Like you want their autograph. But you see People them all the time. People don't even autograph now. anymore. It's yeah. all like, can I get a selfie? I want to post it to my Instagram, and like that's fine. Yeah, I post it to my Snapchat. But like seeing a celebrity now, you're like, oh, like that's cool. Yeah. And like, what do you do? You pull out your phone to like record them, yeah. take a picture of them, rather than like going up to a celebrity, meeting them. And oh my gosh, talking, I love you yeah. in this movie. Like, what are you doing next? Oh, like yeah. this role changed my life. You know, just having a conversation with them. I don't think that ever really happened. A lot. What no, I mean? I think it did. Yeah, maybe like in the fifties. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, back when back when they back, wore long yeah 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 like trench coats to your door. <laughs> in the good old days, the fifties, where you went to the soda pop bar with your buddies. <laughs> the only thing that Oldsmobile. that I don't like about the internet and like social media and phones and stuff is people don't know how to just go somewhere and enjoy being there. Yes. Yeah. You, they have to post it for the. I've been to about. Four or five different fets this weekend, and I worked what? this entire weekend. You what? Where? Where? On social media. Oh yeah, because every you, single mm-hmm. second, mm. and I'm looking around on Do you the see video. That boat cruise that. that yeah, oh, that looked, it looked nice. Good. It looked like, nice. The one on Sunday. Why did nobody tell you about this? I know, right? Yeah, my friend's been DJing. I think I mentioned it before, but still, he's still at it. Having these fets. Yeah, no, they're okay to have now. You're allowed oh, to have okay gatherings to have of now. like a hundred people, we so it's fine. Before. Yeah, because yeah. we're we're reopening now, so we can have like parties and yeah. Mm. And like I'm watching all these girls in mud and all paint mud because people are losing oh, it. Jabs, yeah, jabs, people are losing jabs. it. Everything was closed last year. <sighs> They're going crazy now, oh, and I'm just like, okay, years. I can just watch it from my phone. Like I don't have to go nowhere. What? <laughs> I'd rather experience. That. I would, but I don't want to be there and there's just cameras shining in my face. Like hey, the jab jab. I, I don't remember there ever being. You can't really that, have your phone out. That's what I mean. You shouldn't. However, when like the girls the girls because it was several girls I saw at the same place they were recording and all I see are different people's camera lights just mm-hmm. shining and I'm just like because Pixar didn't happen you know like you guys can't just put down your phone for one can't night and enjoy being put there put your phone down and get daggered Come yeah on, man fuck. get it together Jesus here's Christ. the thing right like I don't mind like you know people are um, enjoying themselves and they want to capture the moment you guys know like I also like when I'm in an awkward situation, like, you know, you pull out your yeah. phone, you kind of do your own thing. But what I hate is, like, you know, a group of friends. Like, everyone's comfortable with one another. Like, no one's shy. No one's new. Like, and we're all sitting at a table and everybody has their phone out. Mm-hmm. I've had so many moments with my friends where I'm the only one with my phone down and I'm looking around like, are you guys kidding me? And I've said it to them. I'm like, put down your phones. And like, oh, like, you're being like this and that. I'm like... Yeah, why that. am I here? Exactly. I'm here to spend time with you guys. Like, you got, yeah, I would have just stayed I get home. It. When your food comes out, take your pictures of your food. Yeah, and, and then whatever. put it down. Right. Like I have another group of friends 
and this is years ago so this shows how like bad things have become because years ago we did this thing we did a couple times where like you go to dinner and everyone puts their phones on the table oh, and you put I still it face do that. down on top of each other i don't on care on top of each other stuff yeah. and the first person to pick up their phone pays the bill mm. unless we go to the end yeah, of dinner yeah. and then and nobody, every, yeah. right then everyone just kind of pays for themselves but it's like an incentive because nobody wants to you pay know, for the bill so yeah. don't touch your phone <laughs> yeah and it's like that's fine but like with certain groups it's like i just want to enjoy the moment like i remember like when um before i had a cell phone and like my friends would come to my door and like you know talk to my mom and like can you come outside and like play mm-hmm. and like you know we'd ride our bikes and go to the park and like just enjoying like i, I don't still know do that right but i'm saying it was before cell phones no you still do that now well with cell phones what they'll do is text you first before they even leave their house there's like the simplicity and the yeah. niceness of just so like I'm how even, so i plan on buying a flip phone then Message the dad. Hey, bud, I uh, plan on marrying your daughter. Everything good with that? Okay, <laughs> yeah, I like the, the, the interaction face-to-face with human mm-hmm. and people. I think I don't really, when I was on Tinder, I didn't really fuck around. I just got straight to the point. I don't give a shit to do the whole texting. It's not real. <laughs> so I was like, it's straight to the point. Let's go to a bar. But, you know. Yeah, I don't know. So you guys do think that the internet kind of ruined yeah. like pop culture? It hasn't, and... it hasn't, but yeah. But like we're millennials, we're get, this is what it feels like to get old because I know the Zoomers are like, what are you guys talking about? Like, we didn't even better. have the internet. What are you talking <laughs> about TikToks and the main No, here's yeah. the thing, I do even... love the internet. I love TikTok, I love like YouTube and Instagram and like all of that stuff. I'm just saying there are certain aspects that I think were better without it. Yeah. Or, or when the days of like, you know, like early days of Instagram or like even Facebook where mm-hmm. like you still live in the moment and then you post all your pictures later, mm-hmm. you know, like that type of thing. Yeah, well, we live in a world of instant gratification. Yeah, I was talking to Caden about, I don't know, something that they do now. And I was telling him like, oh, yeah, when I was your age, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, why would anybody do that? I'm like, because it was fun. Do He's what? like, what what is fun about that? And I'm like, honestly, don't talk to me right now. You, like, what, what, what? I don't remember what it was, but it was something that like we found fun like let's say you know yeah you go out with your friends everybody rides their bike to this person's house then you go to this person's house Mm -hmm. then you go grab this person and then he's like Like, why wouldn't you guys just all meet at the park and I'm like, like because, because, because you have to go individually pick up people. No, but we, we couldn't know what time to call. Yeah, I'm not going to call Billy, park. Sarah, Joseph, and everybody we're else and be like, landline. okay, we're going to get there at 3 p.m., guys. Make <laughs> sure. Nah, even if we're going to the movies, we'd pick up each other and yeah. travel together. Oh, it's, Jesus. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't wait to call yeah, you yeah. up because <laughs> of this thing. No, but like, um, I had to explain to not a child, but like a young person, you know, a child. Um, <laughs> What Red Rover was? Do you guys remember that? Red Rover, Red Rover. Yeah. Can yeah. I come over? Oh, it's Can I Come Over? Yeah. I thought it was like, we call Hugin over, and then we hold hands. I, mean, I, I and know Hugin what it is. Has to, like, I try and break you, through. So basically, it's like two long rows of kids, mm-hmm. and you're, they're holding hands. Tight and then as shit. And then, like, one side, we're like, okay, like, you're on the opposite side of us. We're like, we're going to call Hugin yeah, over. Yeah, so yeah. we say, Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Hugin over. So you have to run as hard as you can to try and to break, break our straight link. through. And if oh, you don't, you have that. to join the link. Yeah, if you that. can't make it, you're on our team now. Yeah. If you do make it, you're a champion. You go back to your team, yeah. you get props, whatever. And, and like I was told stand. like oh that sounds stupid but I'm like you don't understand how fun it was you're stupid or like manhunt manhunt oh, man, was shit. Re- red a whip and helicopter were my shit what was helicopter Hello- what's, what's helicopter what was okay I remember I know red ass yeah yeah um, oh red- that was whip ball but the red ass was the the R-rated oh, version. Like oh, like when, when you hit the ball on the... Um, on the wall, and if I catch it, you have to try and uh, run to the wall. I didn't play that. I used to watch. murder people on yeah. purpose. Yeah, murder. I believe that. Um, they would just look at me like, please. <laughs> like, please. And I'm like, go touch the wall. Go. As soon as they turn around, boom. Um, My Helicopter peeps. was with the skipping rope, and it's like, helicopter, 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 helicopter please, please come down. down. And then they say, only if you're wearing the color blue. And then the helicopter comes down and he spit over, over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. I miss even football, even man. just like jump rope and like you have two friends and they're just like okay, yeah, enjoy. double dutch. Uh, I, uh, I was I was real nervous uh, for double dutch. Uh, like, uh, uh, <laughs> not, not, not now, not now. <laughs> like okay, come on. People go. who people who aren't good at double dutch, they used to love doing under over, where they just run under the rope. Every- <laughs> 
Um, I actually it's, it's the running into the the, the ropes <laughs> that yeah the footwork. I wish I wish I could have done like all of that fancy. My stuff. mom showed not showed me, but my mom used to like do double dutch like push crazy. It, push it to, to the, the limit, limit, because you're in it, limit, limit, it, 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 it to win it. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 that was so exciting. That was my favorite movie, man. That was so, sorry, that was such a good movie. It got me excited. My movie. Uh, he was doing push ups. Uh, uh, he was break dancing. Oh, sorry, no, I have to say, I feel like people think that scream was me. Oh, that was, was me. You. No, that was me. It was oh, that, was you. that was me. That was me. That was me. First, he blamed you. <laughs> then said, oh, that was you, Des. I thought it was me. <laughs> No, I remember like in Family I Channel, mouth, that song would like, come on in the, the morning. The sound, the sound came, came from me. You. Yeah. I wasn't going to scream that high enough. Yeah, it was a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> scream scared me. I recently, not recently, last year I taught Caden how to play uh, Foursquare. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what it's called, right? Foursquare yeah. with the ball and me, him, my brother, and my two cousins played. And I'm watching him and my one of the cousins are around the same age, so they mm-hmm. didn't know what the game was. And I'm watching them have a great time. And I'm like, exactly. Yeah, I'm like, you bully like people. Like, you look at this guy. You're not going to bounce the ball in his square. Ooh, I yeah. bounced it that way. You're out. <laughs> I'm the king, loser. That's why I feel bad for Gen Z. They don't, they don't have these simple games. Anymore. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's still, like, playground games and stuff. But, like, nah, kids have kids cell phones so man. young. It's sad. Yeah. And, like, I know, like, Sucks. you know, 10-year-olds are, like, Instead of being outside playing, well, they're outside, but they're on their phones on, on their TikTok. Phone. Yeah, that's why I like yeah. it. Or like they're, they're doing like their TikTok dances, which is cool. I mean, that's something. No, it's not. No, it's not. Don't tell, don't lie to them. No, it's not. It's, I've seen it. I've seen it in the wild. I, I get this <laughs> late. You've seen it's, it in the wild? Yes, because at the beginning of the pandemic, I was like, because near the beginning of the pandemic, I actually would see kids like riding them. I was like, I was like happy seeing it. But then I remember one time at like the park where I normally take a break at, I saw a bunch of girls put their phone on the top of the garbage can and they're mm. doing TikTok dances. I'm just like, stop. You know what? I, I see what Joe is saying where that's their form of entertainment. I know. I feel bad for them. Because like I used yeah. to, you know when you get together with your friends, or maybe you guys so don't depressed. do that, but I used to get together with my friends, cousins, and we used to like make up dances. We used to break and do dance. choreography and stuff. So like that's just their version. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's a sad version. No, but like. It's a sad It's still version. good, but is it's it, just, is it? for me, it's just, like, a balance between screen, even us as adults, because, like, I, like I said, my go-to is when I am uncomfortable or bored or whatever to check my phone and check my phone, and, like, I'm trying to get out of that because it's, like, life is so beautiful when you, like, lift your head up and actually look around, you know? Yeah. I think I like hiking, dude. That's funny you say that. Sure. I used to walk really fast, and I still walk really my cousin fast. walks so slow since we were kids. And But I would be around him a lot, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is so annoying. Like, hurry up. Mm. And one day he was just like, what's the rush? Life is so beautiful. Yeah, just that's, enjoy that's, it. That's when he said that, I swear to you, I can't walk fast anymore. Yeah, like, I physically cannot. It, I, I, for me, it's I, very hard to walk slow. Because I'm a mailman. Yeah, 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 so that's true. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next house, next house, next house. <laughs> Pretty much, man. My walking. Come on, action. Dad! <laughs> Keep up! <laughs> Walk faster! Come on! My knee! My knee! <laughs> it's on! Ah! I don't know. Super times. I really want a VHS player. Oh. I need to find one. I still have mine. Um, you want to uh, sell it to me? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to find one. It's going Kijiji. Oh, that's what I was talking to him about. What? Um, Cassette tapes. And like recording the radio when you know like Flow ninety three five and when specs it used starting from scratch. Yeah, yeah. To mass. Well, I'm not so I Guyanese <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Wow. Yeah, it was what? great. It was great. Specs of all sounds like a Guyanese Kermit the Frog. Oh. Yeah, and I was telling him like I used to press record and I used to do it over like my dad's gospel tapes because like, you have so many you don't miss this one. <laughs> And he was just we like, we fall down, uh, but we, we get, get up. up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we fall. <laughs> That's all I hear on Saturday. Man. Ugh, Kirk God. Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> For a he has a. He's supposed to have a, a song with somebody. I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's but it's not a gospel thing, so I'm confused. Mm. Or it was done. Wasn't he the one in the news with uh, issues with his son and like they had like a like his like like a really bad nasty blow up where his son was exposing him and he was like we well, anything fall about down. that's what yeah. about would we get up anything, long story short um, yeah with Kirk Franklin like he already said a lot of stuff like he was addicted to porn yeah. he was this he was that mm-hmm. like he said a lot of those stuff already so I touched my pee pee a lot I, it yeah. might have been him I can't remember and whenever that happens but when they're all sings, horrible we fall down <laughs> 
Um, all right. Well, now we are at the potion. Uh, but why the can potion. I not talk the potion? The potion. I was gonna say the portion. I know you like crystals and shit, man. Come on. <laughs> I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a wicked. I'm not a witch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you appreciate that no we are at the portion of the podcast where we are going to take a listener submitted question so what is that you may ask <laughs> i got you back i'll tell you <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> um if you are listening to the podcast and you you know want to be a part of the conversation whether that means you have a question a comment a story to share we want to hear from you you can write in at this slash ask um, and, you know, submit whatever it is that you want to submit, and we will hopefully get to it. We will. So, today, okay, so this is from Anonymous. Anonymous. But the subject line is stepdaddy issues. Oh, oh boy. What, what, did, you, did you fuck him? Oh, my There's goodness. something about this family Hugh, fucking. Hugh, Hugh just There's wait. Just wait. There's family fucking going just on this wait. podcast. Three sums cousin fuckers <laughs> step sister fuckers the it's three, a daddy the, fucker now they didn't even get there yet the threesome wasn't family i don't i'm just assuming i don't fucking know <laughs> got a little incense incestuous incense? yeah let's burn it <laughs> yeah burn burn, burn your sins man yeah fucking I, your dads and shit <laughs> nobody said that all, yet you all i read was the subject line all right what's going on um what's going on with daddy so step daddy hi everyone if you're reading this question, I really appreciate it. No problem. I'm a fan of the show. You guys never fail to make me laugh. I love how open you all are about sex in such a comedic yet honest way. I'm feeling very uncomfortable already. I feel like he was right. What? This is going super left. Yeah. I'm I feel scared. like it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. No, yeah, but she's like left? because she brought up sex. And I, the the the, the I'm topic. Assuming this is a yeah, daddy. This I'm is going a dad, that way. That this is a dad. Uh, I didn't. Ta- <gasps> I'm going that way with wow, you now. This is getting crazy. Intuitive. I didn't uh, think about this, that. This is dad fucking. Interesting. I I haven't read this whole email. I, it I think looks I just like a read like the first email. No, it's not super long. <laughs> um, I hate that you're always looking over my. I can always. see everything. <laughs> <laughs> Damn eagle eye over there. Um. Yes, uh, I love how open you all are about sex in such a comedic yet honest way. As a woman, I oh, I love that Jonelle is candidly herself and engages in these ta- taboo conversations even when something is out of her comfort zone. I respect all of your... Oh, thank you, by the way. I respect all of your opinions very much from the blunt Eugene to the slick and funny Des Wayne <laughs> and, of course, the kind yet badass Jonelle. Now that I've gassed you guys up a bit... I wasn't gassed up. I was definitely gassed up. I was not gassed up. Why? Why? You're honest. Everybody knows you're honest. That's she a good said thing. She respects that you're blunt. Yeah. A- yes, I'm being blunt. I'm not gassed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hey, I guess she respects it. <laughs> Eugene. Okay, you gotta give me a little more, man. You gotta blow a little bit more smoke on my ass. <laughs> oh, my boy. Debbie Downer. Um, now that I've gassed you guys up a bit, or uh, most of us <laughs> up a bit, um, I have a question for you. Feel free to be honest with me. As you always are, I want to hear the truth. I'm dating my stepdad. I told you! We got daddy fucker sounds about white! <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> you just wait. That wasn't even the question. <laughs> I don't need to hear that anymore. Why are you dating your stepdad, bro? Because maybe it was her stepdad, <laughs> but it's it not anymore. Matter, dude. It's fucking weird, buddy. I fucking hell. That. I kind of... I, I, I hate it, but I also love when you guys... Fuck When me. I read a question and you guys go off <laughs> before Why are you reading your, the why question? Are you fucking your stepdad? Because it's not her stepdad anymore. It doesn't matter. She's it, calling it a stepdad, so it's still her stepdad, For buddy. context of what she's Bro, about she's to tell us, maybe. she's fucking her fucking stepdad. No, well, she didn't say... She said dating, so that's, they're dating. That, that, dating these days is just fucking... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> these kids are on a date. They just fuck. <laughs> you don't even know she's a kid. That is very true. Okay, and that's a whole other can read, of worms. Read, read the rest of the question. <laughs> oh, thank you for your permission. I appreciate that. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> yeah, are you her stepdad? I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to be your stepdaddy girl. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that went real creepy. But. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm dating my stepdad. Well, so why do we got a bunch of family? You. <laughs> why do we got so many family fuckers on this podcast? Why? Why are you guys fucking your families? This is, this is You're never gonna finish. You're not gonna. Person. That's too many. <laughs> too too many. Mm, fuck. 
Okay, sorry. <laughs> First of all, the the guy, I feel like, weren't you on his side? Yeah, I still feel kind of fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, he did say that. It's still weird, but like, do your thing, bro. You mm. lived out all our fantasies. But yeah, he's like, one, don't tell nobody. <laughs> something about the stepdad. <laughs> don't tell nobody. Yeah, all right. Um... So can I, can for the yeah. third time, can yeah. I continue? Yeah. I'm dating my stepdad. <laughs> He's going to lose it again. <laughs> well, let me backtrack a little bit. My mom and my stepdad got divorced a few years ago, mm-hmm. but he is very, but he is very much still intertwined with my family. So we would see each other from time to time. When I was a teen, nothing happened between us. We were relatively close, but not super close. But now that I'm an adult, things are different. It started with little comments and flirty conversations at family functions. And she put in parentheses, like, after the divorce. Um, And it progressed from there. We started talking and texting all the time. And the conversations eventually developed into something that you would imagine between two peers who are flirting and getting to know each other. He confessed his feelings for me, and I confessed mine for him. We have had a... I think this is a typo. We've had a couple of dates and kissed, but we have not slept together. Okay, oh, that's still weird. Eugene. Fine, fine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you have to say? You went in on her, and that's all you have to say? At least he said sorry. Barely. Said sorry. He, like, mumbled it. <laughs> say it properly. Say it. Sorry. It's still fucking weird so far. Okay, Hugh. <laughs> um, but we have not slept together. Part of me feels like it's okay. He is not my blood, and he doesn't have any children with my mom. But I don't know how she would feel about it. She has moved on and is happy, but I can't help but wonder if this would be considered crossing a line. My mother and I are fairly close, but I am closer with my dad. Still, I wouldn't want to hurt her, but the heart wants what it wants. What should I do? Ask your dad. I would love your opinions on this before I choose to take the next step with him because intimacy is very important for me. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just... What do, you, what do you go first? You go first. Yeah, I don't mind going first. Um, yeah, you need to go first because Hugh's been going. This yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Who's <laughs> he was? He knows what he wants to say. Um, Stop I think. Stop squinting your eyes, Eugene. I think. Um, respectfully, you need to have that conversation with your mom before you make that step. I understand that it's your life and everything. However, as a parent, um, I'm a parent. Um, as a parent, that's something I would want to know. Like, if if you explain it to your mom, like, look, like. It's never been anything, you know, after you guys got divorced, you know, he was just making sure that I was good. I was making sure he's okay. And one thing kind of led to another emotionally. That's one thing. But as a parent, if I find out that my child is sleeping with somebody that I was married to, I'm going to lose it because I'm going to think you've been watching my child this whole entire time. And now it's going to be something that it wasn't. So I think you should make that first step, not him. You make that step with your mom and explain the situation um at first she probably won't like what she hears of course because your mind is gonna wander like how do i know you guys weren't doing stuff how do i know he wasn't watching you how do i know he didn't brainwash you or whatever the case is um and you just have to kind of respect that from your mom like that's her opinion and she is your mother at the end of the day um do i think anything is wrong with the situation personally no if you're saying there was nothing before you know the divorce and before you were an adult um at the end of the day if you met him later on in life and you guys kind of forgot about the fact that they dated or whatever it would be nothing him and your mom don't have any kids together him and your mom you know it ended and obviously it didn't end horrible if he's still kind of intertwined with the family however you have to understand that the family will find that very much concerning that your stepdad and you are now dating if you can handle all of that and it it's genuine for both of you on both sides you'll be fine but if the family you know is just like no you know he's kind of using you for sex or he's just saying whatever to manipulate you or blah 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 that's one thing but if you guys truly like you said the heart wants what it wants um he's not your real dad uh nothing has happened in the past and you guys still haven't crossed that line yet. I, I think that's fine. So before that line even gets crossed, you did you do need to let your mom know, like, I, I do have feelings for your old boyfriend. Like, even if he wasn't your stepdad. Husband. And husband. Even if he was <laughs> whatever. Weird, at the end of the day, they're not that anymore. Well, so. here's the thing, right? 
respectfully because you seem like a wonderful young lady with her head on her shoulders the way you compose this email the things you said about us i truly appreciate it i think we all do i'm sure how much old she was right i was gonna say that first of all no first i was gonna say respectfully this is some jerry springer shit nah it's not <laughs> it really is if you were pregnant that would be some jerry springer shit but it's nothing you guys kiss you guys talk he's not your you and you no, have to stop thing. referring to him he, as your stepdad you brought up uh <laughs> yeah yes very good point does but you brought up a good point where it depends on how old she is because if she's yes she's an adult she's made that clear but like what's an adult is that 18 is that 19 like or are you like 25, 25 30 whatever which i doubt you are because my demographic is between 18 and 25 who said that it's uh, that last time i remember it was something like that <laughs> um but the thing is that makes it very uncomfortable and for for mother especially but for the family for anyone for me as someone on the outside looking in this is someone who I, and that's the thing you didn't specify how old you were when they got together um you're a teenager right she said when they she, divorced oh, they when she was a teenager um hold on hold on hold on <clears throat> da, 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 da. divorce a few years ago sorry little compliments um now that I'm adult, um, no, it didn't say. I would say, b- based off of how she wrote it, um, she's in her early twenties, and I say that because she said they uh, divorced a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and then she used the phrase "now that I'm an adult." No, it's just right. So but it the sounds like it's could have new. very well so happened while she was a teenager. Say she the, the divorce <laughs> happened; she was sixteen, mm-hmm. and now na- it's a couple years later. Now that she's an adult, that's why I'm early twenties still. Yeah, probably could be early twenties. That's what I mean. That could I, still be teens. I'm a, what I'm saying mm, is, if oh, this you're thinking man like was, eighteen, nineteen, right? And oh, that to me still an adult. It is. It is an adult. That's what I'm saying. And I, it, it's. I, I mean, I do wish that she had uh, told us, like, when, how old, the reason why it's important to me. This is a part two. <laughs> I mean, if, if yeah, um, writer, if you um, want to send us more information, we would love more information. But um, I think it's important to, like, figure out, like, when her, when this stepfather came into her life. Because I think it's really creepy. Like, who's that guy? Woody Allen? Isn't he the one who married his stepdaughter? Mm-hmm. That is creepy he yes it's an adopted you know child but or sorry it wasn't step it was just his daughter because he adopted her but you raise a child you like you're supposed to be in a nurturing loving protecting role and to do that remember we had this conversation about abuse of power power dynamics and just like just being creepy in general and if a man is watching a child or a young woman um, develop and like in the back of his head like she did say that like you know they were kind of close but not crazy like they had a good relationship it wasn't I think she said that to imply like he never did anything yeah, to it me never, when I was young. It never came across as anything but it's just like the bad baby situation remember when she, the day she turned 18 she made an OnlyFans and everyone was kind of like okay but every and she made like a couple million in a day or two and everyone was like but the point is that all these people who joined the minute she turned 18 they had to have been watching her when she was underage and that is creepy and that is not right now i don't know the situation with this um (coughs) young lady (laughs) i feel like i'm like scolding her I'm, i'm really trying not to be um but i it that part doesn't sit well with me um and then also I just I think certain things are off limits. You know they have like girl code. There's family code. I don't think you, you know, pardon my French, but like you don't fuck with the family literally. You know, like I don't think you should be messing around with someone that was messing around with your mother. And I also think it's weird because like what if she just looks like you know like a younger version of her mother? Like this guy has like issues. I think like he has more issues than you, um, uh, anonymous. Um, with that being said, I'm not going to judge you. Absolutely not. I just hope that you are being careful and protecting yourself. And I hope that on his end, it was nothing creepy. Um, but Even you do have to have a conversation with your mom. Yeah. If you, I mean, I guess if you can take it to the grave, if you, if you really choose, but it seems like you want to, I don't think you'd bring it up if you didn't want to talk to her about I mean, it. I don't think she wants to take it to the grave. Right, exactly. She wants to be she in a wants open to be relationship. Comfortable, yeah. Right, and you don't want to have to hide your I mean, how do you hide your relationship from your family yeah. if you have a close family? Um 
So if that's the case, then you do need to talk to her about it. Um, I think she has every right to not feel comfortable with it. And I mean, you're an adult. You don't have to listen. But um, personally, I think that you need to watch out. It's not a situation that makes me feel very Sorry, um, Hugh, comfortable. Bef- Hugh, before you go, um, like in my eyes, no matter how you explain it to people, people will always think that it sounds weird and like he had ulterior motives from before, you know, you maybe you just didn't know or blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, it's your relationship with him. You know, you will do with it as you please. You can hear what we say and still do the opposite of what all of us say. Mm-hmm. Um, it's whatever you choose to do and whatever comes out of that, that's what you have to accept. So if you choose like, no, I like this guy. I don't care what my mom or my family has to say. If the family shuns you, you can't be mad at anybody but yourself because you have to understand that they're coming from a place where they do care about you and want the best for you in that sense. If your mom is against it, you can't be like, oh, she's just jealous because he left her and blah, blah, blah. It's it's not about that. Right. Like if if, if people don't accept it. Like yeah. You have to understand it does sound kind of weird. But at the end of the day, if you're saying it, it to me, it sounds kind of weird because I think it really matters if say he got together with the mother when she was nine and watched her grow like that to me is creepy. Whereas if, you know, they got together and she was like 16, I'm not saying I like it, but it's definitely a still, better situation. No, no, no. See, I, I, I think like 16 it, is worse than nine. Why? I think they're both. The reason why I think 16 is worse than nine, because nine. Nine just gives me pedophilia vibes. No, I, that's what I mean. Like, I don't feel like he was looking at her like that. I feel like there's more. At right, 16, so I'm looking her at, at, as her at a daughter. Looking at her as a maybe daughter. Maybe it's just the way the conversations if you're went. At someone as a child, you can't. Like, that, that should never change. Because it's like. Like, when I was maybe 23, 24, like, I would see some girls and I would be talking to them. Like, I would, it was in my mind. I'd be like, oh, how old are you? And they'd be like 16. I'd be like, ah, you're not even 18. Oh, that sucks. And then a couple years later, if you buck them again, you realize, okay, you're of age. Now we can kind of converse right, and talk. this is not random. This is family. I, I, I get it's not family because he's not a part of the it's family. It's not blood, but it's family, not family is not always blood. It's not, but it's not family at the end of the day. If they're divorced and... He's going to... They connected because he was at family functions. Friends come to family functions. Mm. He's not family. It's just because she said stepdad. If she said, I know a guy named Joe, you know, he... And Joe was married to my mom. Yeah, he's not thing. He's not your family at the end of the day. They're divorced. They're not together. He's his own man, and you are your own woman, and he has his own family. You have your own family. If you and him have something going on in my eyes, respectfully, yes, speak to your mom about it. However, that's between you and him, in, like, in my eyes. If you feel like he wasn't targeting you and he genuinely wasn't, you are right. Feelings do grow and develop. Like you said, like conversations didn't get straight into that. Mm-hmm. Eventually, over time, it kind of the dynamic of conversations change because he's not your dad and you are not his daughter. So I understand where you're coming from, but respectfully speak to your mom. Hugh. Yeah, Hugh. You were doing a great job holding all that in. No, I don't have much really to say. He's like, yeah, I already said it all. <laughs> Fucking weird. It, it's it just like you saw my face. <laughs> like it just gives me weird vibes. That this is weird. Even if it doesn't matter if he, if maybe at nine or at sixteen, it's still weird because to me, it's like in my I, I, and this is the thing. You say you're close with your dad. Ask your dad what he thinks dad probably wouldn't like it oh because dad's knows what's nobody going in the family would like it at well, all if you're close with your dad ask your dad always ask dads bring it get dads involved in your relationship sometimes because yeah they're gonna be most blunt with you um it's fucking weird to me dude see it's weird to me because i feel like he's seeing you he probably looked at you in that if let's say from a teenager he probably looked at you in that way and then eh, it's weird let me put it this way if my if you know, if I had children, mm-hmm. and I married someone who was not their father, and he looked at them the wrong way, I would be in jail. If he did, but she I said there care. was nothing. I don't. She care doesn't. She's not gonna know. I'm just saying from her. She said there's nothing. Alone. The thing is, is that she's not gonna know. Like I wouldn't be surprised if she's if there probably was a look and she she's, was in denial she's a kid. about it. She's Maybe, naive. and that's she what I'm know. saying. Okay, so for example, ask your dad. If she, ask if your dad. she has this conversation with her mom, well, and so her she's mom gonna ask her mom. Not ask her mom. Have a conversation. You're not asking for permission. I, You're a grown I, woman. You're having a conversation with your mom respectfully. Maybe there's something you don't know about this guy that your mom would be like, honey, listen. 
the reason why me and him really divorced was years ago I caught him creeping on you or you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. At least you know now he's been watching you or whatever. Now you feel different about the situation because you're having a conversation with somebody who was intertwined with that realistically. You talking to your dad about this, regardless, this could be a random guy as a father they will still be like, nah, he's too old for you, whatever the case is. So talking to your dad, to me, is completely useless. I think if you're close with your dad, talk Even to your Even if dad. you're close with your dad. I say talk to your dad. I, I say talk to your mom. I say no. I'm not saying no, talk to the mom. Yeah, so, you're saying I, talk to the dad, talk too. To the dad, but the dad's going to give you the most honest view of it. Regardless if dad gives honest view, dads are completely biased. You don't want nobody touching your little girl, period. No, if they find the right guy, they're going to give you a mm. good... I still know people that your, use your their dads. Your ex-wife's mm. ex-husband yeah, is dating your daughter? Because it, it sounds weird. It sounds weird. weird. It sounds weird. And he's gonna, it it sounds your weird. ex-wife's ex-husband is dating your daughter yeah i'm gonna no. call the wife and be like what the fuck's Cause, going cause on no you dad, wouldn't you would no. go to the guy and as you'd dad, murder that like, guy you were in this house with my underage child yeah. and, and you're, now you're dating it's, her it's you weird. can't talk to your dad it's about weird. it yeah. your dad. you have to have a real conversation with your mother about it your dad, and your that's dad. that like talk to your dad at the end of the day like in my eyes this guy is not your dad he's as long as there is no intention of anything before if there's no woody allen shit but there's then, no way to prove there that. isn't there isn't however the if only thing that could potentially prove is that the mom is if the mom knows knew something, something. exactly does, maybe but then if she does i'm gonna shit on the mom because why are you bringing this guy around with the family the mom still? is not bringing him around he was intertwined with the family because they were married so that, but now maybe the family know, likes him the family and the family's like Oh, you know, Ex I go to my like, ex's families and him. I see That's them. That's my son. That's like exactly. Son to me, you know? And the mom, oh. respectfully, the mom doesn't want to expose him. Oh but God. you, you know, that's, you that's, have to be a distance. Listen, your mom, mom divorced for, him for a reason. That's stupid on the mom's part. Then if they have to say let's assume. We don't know. That. We're assuming. Uh, bro, we shouldn't I, I'm, do that. I'll be my blunt, honest opinion. I think it's fucking weird. Um, if you're young, you still have time on your side. You don't, don't. I don't know. It's just it gets a bad taste in my mouth. I don't think she's. I mean, she didn't allude to be. Being like, oh, will I find someone else? I think she's just like, I really like this yeah, guy. Yeah, I like this guy. He seems to really like me. I'm not saying you. we're going to get married and, you know, run away together. I but know, right now, I'm interested in him and he's interested in me. I don't know. It hasn't be been... careful. Protect yourself. Be, yeah. be careful. Yeah. Ask your dad. Talk to your dad. Dad's will give you the most honest opinion. They'll be the most honest I do you. agree with Des, though. Like, a, I think dads, dads are more just, biased than moms. Going to be just, you know. Just a dad, mm -hmm. yeah. Just protective, just right off That's the, all it is. Mm -hmm. Not honest, just protective. Go to your dad. Go to your dad. Go to your dad. The most honest man in your life is your father and your brothers and your cousins. The most honest man in your life is nobody because we're all liars. Oh, Jesus. All Ooh. right. Well. I believe that men can be honest and men can be good and sweet and pure. I can believe that, but situationally, yes. Like he was saying, ask your dad. In this situation, no dad would be happy with this. So, mm -hmm. therefore, it's already biased. Well, it's up to you, kid. I, you know, you like the guy, you like the guy. Like you say, you're an adult. If you want to do whatever you want to do, you will do it. Um, however, you need to stop referring to him as your stepdad if that's the case. Because that's not what he is anymore. Him and your mom George. are together. Um, I wonder if that was just for like the context of the email. It probably was, she... but even in the email, I would I'd be like, okay, side story, you know. Hey man, I almost got, I almost predicted the question. You did, you didn't almost. You, well, yeah, minus the sex. Well, to yeah. be fair, she the, the, they the didn't sex. She said stepdaddy issues. I mean, yeah. what, what else can? Yeah. I think <laughs> mm, well, I got the dad fucker right, man. All you right. didn't fuck your dad, but you know, I'm joking. But it's weird uh, to me. Talk to your dad. You're close with him. You say you're closer with your dad than your mom. Talk to your dad. You know, what's crazy is that. Oh, so first of all, thank you very much for writing in. I hope, you know, none of us are coming from a place of judgment. No, um, not, no, not, not at, at all. all. And and for I anyone for who is stuff. considering writing in, we never will. Like, we're always going to give our opinions and be honest. But we love you guys. We appreciate the honesty and the vulnerability. So continue to write in. Um, it's nothing but love. I hope you are happy and I hope you are safe. And that's it. And if you would love to write back. We would love to hear from you. Stay alert. Stay, Stay safe. safe. <laughs> Again, this square room dot com slash ask if you want to write in. Now, there was um, something that came up in the news recently, and it's so ironic that we're talking about, you know, kind of like an underage situation. It's not the same. But um, Hugh, what was that situation with the with the that 13 year old? Yeah, no, there's a there's a what should we call it? 13 year old. There's a 13 year old. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's like this. Uh, I can read it if you want. Uh, 
I've been depressed and so. Hold on, no, no, no. What is it though? Oh, the kid's mom does OnlyFans. Right. So, um, this kid, um, went to Reddit, um, w- admitting that he has uh, suicidal thoughts because he's being bullied by his classmates over his mom having an OnlyFans. Yeah. So this is the letter. Go ahead, you. I'm 13 and my mom is 33. Things at school were great. I'm sort of short, so I get picked on, but. It's magical. Welcome to the club, kid. That was until one day my classmate showed me a picture of my mom naked. Oh no. I almost had a panic attack and had to be ex- excused from the classroom. I ended up showing up uh, to school school a few days. Jesus Christ. So not skewed, showing up. Skewed a few days faking He ended sick. up not showing up to oh, school. It said that. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez, I can't see shit. You got any glasses too? I was hoping that things would cool off, but they didn't. No, they no, they never will, kid. As soon as I, <laughs> it's true, they're not. That shit will stick for a while. As soon as I got to school, almost everyone in my class was staring and laughing at me. This has been going on for about a week now. I was wondering how my classmates even got the pictures, and apparently my mom advertises her OnlyFans on her personal Twitter account. Some students from the school follow her, so. They were able to see the news, and they have been spread everywhere. I don't even have Twitter, so I didn't know about this. The worst part is when I confronted my mom about this, she told me that I was overreacting, shit mom, and that sex work is basically the same as working at the bank and the grocery store. No, it's not. She also said it makes me feel good about herself and that I should be happy that she is more confident now. Yeah, okay. I told the principal, but they can't. Spend thousands of students and take away phones. I've been crying in my room every day for the past week. I don't think I can take it anymore. Yeah, I feel bad for this fucking kid. This that shit sticks with you. That's just gonna stick with him till high school. Well, it might die down a little bit, but. Um, I don't mean to sound like insensitive, but when I heard this story, I was kind of like, "Is this real?" I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised either, but it's just like this kid doesn't have a Twitter, but he has a Reddit. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. And like just the way th- the letter was written, it made me kind of be like, mm. I wouldn't be shocked if it was real though. But Especially nowadays. We're, we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go on the assumption that it is real. I've just, I just. This is not the first there. time that something like this has happened. Especially since the inception of OnlyFans, it's not the first time this has happened. Mm-hmm. Um, how you feel about it? It sucks. I feel bad for the kid. Of obviously. course, you feel bad for the kid. Yeah, that that shit's yeah. Yeah, they're not gonna let you live that down. I think they're, they're, he doesn't really have much choices. He can either. Fully embrace him, be like, yeah, that's my mom. Fully embrace him. That's, I think that's his only choice is fully embracing. No, your... well, sorry, go ahead, go no, ahead. No, I think that's his only choice is to fully embrace it because his mom's probably is not gonna stop this anytime. It sounds like she's but not gonna to stop. To my this. knowledge, I mean, and I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that um, OnlyFans you can actually make your content available in certain areas. So you can like block. Uh, that's what I was told. At yeah, least. I doubt she. So like, she seems to. For care. instance, if she's from Toronto, nobody from Toronto or nobody from Ontario or nobody from Canada. But obviously, you limit your um, customer base. But from what it sounds like, she doesn't give a shit. It sounds like that she went through something and she needed to feel empowered yeah, and also yeah. make money. Kid. But we don't know the situation because a lot of people have a hard time finding work. It's not. And we're coming off yeah, of COVID. I've always never. Like, when people say there's no jobs, it's like, no, there's no jobs that you want. There's tons because nursing is having a problem with storage right now. FedEx and UPS, Pure Later. Uh, yeah, DHL. Like, some people can't like when they need money right now. They can't just post. go to nursing school. I'm, but the jobs are just UPS, FedEx, Pure Later. That's Canada. DHL. All those carriers, they're always fucking hiring, and they pay pretty well. Um, trades. Trades are in like a deficit right now. Trades you are have to desperate. Learn a trade. Like if she's just like. I don't know. To you me, know, trades aren't as popular with women. You know that. Eh, it should be. Um, here's I what. I agree. It should be, but it's not. Here, that's just the truth. here's my thought process though. Something that's gonna probably fuck up my kids' mental health, but I feel empowered or doing a job I'm not gonna like. I'm gonna make good money out of it. I'm still gonna make good money, and this is long term good money. I'm talking about all the other jobs I just listed, and my kids aren't gonna have to worry about being bullied to shit and having lasting trauma for the rest of his life. I mean, porn stars have um, children that grow up to be well adjusted human beings. I'm, yeah, sure. I'm on the other side. Yeah, well, okay. I, Let us know how you feel. I feel like, um, and oh my God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> You're um, dropping everything. Everything. Um, 
I, I don't know. I don't think I'm an insensitive person, but I also don't like, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So with this story, you're already having issues being bullied. Maybe your mother doesn't know that. Maybe people don't know that. That's something personal you're going through. This is adding to your personal problem. I understand that. This to me supersedes that. See, in my eyes, if somebody came to me and said X, Y, Z about my mom or X, Y, Z about, you know, my son's mom or whatever, they're their own per- like, oh, like In high school. Th- and this is middle school, actually. No, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to put myself in his shoe. And I guess because I wasn't a person that felt like insecure were you, or bullied. Were you popular in school? Oh, yeah. This is different. He doesn't sound like a popular kid. So well, I can relate this because I wasn't a popular kid. That's what I'm saying. He's already going through something. So this sounds 10 times worse. Mm-hmm. I, I understand that. But by you shunning yourself and now you're not showing up at school, of course, when you come back, it's fresh. But this is the thing. No matter where he goes. Remember, this is different. For us, we could skip school and we don't have to worry about this at our age group. This is Gen Z. He can't escape it. I, I honestly, I personally just don't think that you know. I what his mom said to him was a little bit insensitive. I yes, that's very insensitive. Mm-hmm. Um, that's extremely insensitive. That's extremely selfish. But I that's see that that makes me want to pew on the ground. That's just that's, see, that I is. can't because I don't know what kind of kid he is. <laughs> no, nah, because if if I'm a mom and I'm working hard and I have a dickhead of a son who maybe is getting bullied at school, but in at home he's a dickhead and doesn't want to do anything and now he goes to school people show him this first of all this content is not for people your age so my bad they saw it you know at the end of the day like also we have to remember she's 33 which means she had him at 20 which means that she went through some yeah maturity um, you know it's what I not. Mean? Yeah, like, I'm not gonna give you that kind of leeway. I'm no, sorry. No, I'm not saying it's an excuse. But what it's I'm a, saying that is, is an excuse. I'm saying she doesn't have that emotion. I'm saying the, her response is when your what kid you is expect. saying, "I yeah. feel this way. I'm being hurt. I'm being bullied. I have these thoughts," and you say you're overreacting. If you're that mature enough to have happen, a fucking kid at but 20, but a lot of people mature, don't. But maturity does not have to do with having a kid. Because at 15, know. I definitely wasn't mature enough to have a kid. But right. 15, this is 20. That's completely different. Nah, were 20 you, is no different, man. When you man. turned 20, were you mature enough to have a kid? No, but I feel like that... No, I don't fucking... I, I, I have no sympathy for the mom. I have more sympathy for this kid. I, because I know this is going to have long-term problems for the kid decades along the way. I have no sympathy for either of them. You think it will last that long? Oh, yes! People get fucked up from just the slightest of bullying. People have problems with it 10 years later, when they're 23, or even when they're 30. You will still have those problems. Like, son, I'm sorry that you're short. Like, what do you, what do you want me to do about it? You're getting bullied because you're short, but what can anybody do about it? Like, that sucks. Yeah, but there are other short people who get bullied, and I'm not saying embrace it and be like, oh, yeah, I'm short. However, to well, me... You, well, you said he was getting, like, sort of picked, picked on, on. short, but it's not that big. He's like, yeah, you're short. I'm like, yeah. Well, maybe to you, you're just like, yeah. But, but maybe... I can relate because I was a short guy that got picked on sometimes for being short. So yeah. I, I, that's the thing. I can relate to that part. I can relate to because it wasn't that bad. It was the occasional little roast. But this supersedes that completely. They probably said, fuck the short thing. Your mom's a hoe. That's what they're, they're saying shit like that. He can't. This is the thing. So you, you, would consider, you would consider yourself bullied about being short? I got teased for being sorry. He teased, said teased or bullied. He said bullied. He said I get picked, picked on. on. Yeah, that's getting gross out on. of it. I got picked on. Every kid too. get picks no, on. I'm not. I got picked on for being thing. dark. I don't care about the picked on stuff. I but care that, about the porn that, part. But that's what matters. That's what I'm saying. It like, doesn't matter. It's the porn part It's that not matters. just the only fans part that but matters. But it seems like that supersedes everything. It supersedes everything because there's so much. Like when you have a certain amount of baggage and then... If somebody gives you a medium sized bag, it feels so much heavier than if you had nothing. Even if you had so nothing. So because he's already weird. going through things, nah. if he if he had nothing, nah. like if let's say he was the most popular kid in school, if this that came destroy out your reputation. this destroys your reputation. However, That's maybe the worse. suicidal thoughts, it's not worse. It's not. If he was popular and this I'd be like, you down, I'm leaving schools. To to- it, it, this but this is the thing. This we're speaking out of it at our time where internet wasn't that crazy. He can't escape it. I thought about the too. Is he? Oh, he can go to a different school. Of course no, he, he can. can. Of course he can. He can't escape it. Yes, he can. He can't go to a different school because of course someone he might send it to that person at that school. And then so then, how do up. you know that I'm going to that school unless I tell you that he I'm going to that it. school? People will know. If Mom, can you block this... your Twitter? F- unfollow but she's everybody. She doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, no, she doesn't give a fuck about stop working. He wants her to stop making money. Nah. So I, I understand where she's coming from. Like, listen, I'm not gonna her. What she said to him was out of pocket. Yes. However. If my only income right now 
as a as a single dad was I go out late at night and I'm doing some nasty shit mm. that I shouldn't be doing. If Caden finds out and Caden's getting bullied, for me to be like, you know what? I understand. Let me respect your feelings. Mm. Let me stop. Mm. Let me go look for work. Mm. Everywhere you go look for work, even the places you named, it's not like you get hired like that, like mm. Joe was saying. Sometimes weeks, months, whatever. No, those places oh, are like So that. who's going to pay the bill? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? So what I would do is I would and make a it's plan. it's like, what if she's making better money? It's Here's the thing. Fast money, long-term problems. Right, but she's also 33. So I'm maybe not she's giving not you a fucking leeway that. for we 33. Are, we are in the age where OnlyFans is something that is normal. For it's people our age, it is. It is. Fast it is. money, long-term problems. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to have a long-term problem. However, to 35 fast, and even 40, like OnlyFans is something that is very normal. Because yes, fast exactly. money right now, if my child needs food right now, I'm not thinking long-term problems. I'm thinking, how am right. I going to feed when and keep a roof over our head? on OnlyFans buying houses and cars you're like you know what i can make a better life for me and my son like i'm you know i'm not saying it i don't obviously the son obviously the son didn't know she had only fans until somebody showed her so she did a great job of keeping it away from him in that aspect your your son well my mom used to have my friends on facebook that's why i got facebook not if you're doing that you're right she probably didn't think that far ahead because even back she doesn't know maybe she has a lot of followers that she just know because even like back in the day there's like ladies who there's this one chick she did like literally one porn video and somehow someone found someone's kid somehow found out she was a science teacher she was a great science teacher and she ended up being fired i don't know if this was me if i was a mom i'd be like yes i'm making great money now and maybe his mom's hot Probably she's on, and then maybe she's already thinking it's already out there. So me stopping isn't gonna remove change anything. All it does is remove a roof over her head. Yeah, if I if I'm the mom or if I'm a dad doing this, I'm gonna think you know what this is gonna cause my kid long term problems. I will. What I will do is that I will. So we're gonna have to like cut down on certain things. Like, cause I'm gonna assume porn money. So you have like great things. I'm like, okay, we're gonna downsize the shit, and I will do a regular job. Yeah, I'm not gonna be as happy, but also. My kids are gonna have to worry about this shit in the long run. I'm gonna think about the kid. That's just, that's for me. If I realize this is affecting my kid, and my kid's gonna just want to be suicidal. I'm gonna think. My oh, s- always. That's why I I agree with you because at the because once the I day, heard it's suicidal. Yeah. And like I'm gonna think to myself, what first. I wanted to do my porn. Yeah. And now my kid's dead. Oh, not, but I wanted to do like, my OnlyFans. Yeah, but you know the kid's not gonna go to mom and be like, mom, you're doing OnlyFans and it makes me feel suicidal. Yeah, she's he's gonna find her dead. The kid is just okay, upset about this. As a parent, yes, you talk to your child and every dynamic is different. Maybe they don't have the best of relationships. I don't know. know. But it's like, he's telling the internet he's suicidal. Why don't you go to your guidance counselor? Why don't you? Guidance counselors are shit. It doesn't matter. The point is you're talking to a whole bunch of strangers on the internet who cannot give you advice realistically. But that's this generation. Yeah. Like, what? I understand that. Some people meet their best friends on the internet. You can't bad the mom up like, okay, your son's going to wake up dead. How is she gonna know he's feeling suicidal unless yeah, you tell true. me? Maybe she doesn't like know. if if you it's don't vocalize. It's, for, it's me, not for me. Once the kid comes up, I'm gonna because I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm even that the thought process I have now. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm you're 33. I think you're smarter than. You, but clearly not. If I if my kids come up to me and telling me, "Hey, stop!" I'm gonna be like, "Something's going on at school, probably." There has to be something going on. My kids are gonna randomly come up to me. Like, how did he even know? He they didn't. This. Well, I guess he so told her. He didn't say stop. That hey something's clearly going on at school. Oh, this is a f- and I don't know. I, I to me, if I'm a parent, I would I'm gonna. The conversation went, mom, mom, like, Johnny, yeah, X Y of OnlyFans. You're doing OnlyFans, and she's like, you're overreacting. Like, relax, yeah. It's How money. did Johnny even find I'm that? Making good money. You see those shoes that you're wearing. Where do you think That's the food came you. from? Don't what do you think we still have it. live here? Yeah, like it was probably one of those. Cause like I mean, come on. That's how, if I found out my mom was doing something crazy. I'm not gonna go to her respectfully. I'm not. Well, <laughs> no, I would go respectfully. I'm not going respectfully. No, what I'm saying, like, I'm not gonna go and be like, mother, your actions. I'm gonna be like, mom. What I'm are probably you not gonna doing? say shit. Like, I'm gonna fester in my depression. And then that's what I mean. So how is she later. supposed well, to know? So like, I even know people. I don't know. I, think who, you're, I, think you're, I, I don't know. I, I, it's I, like, hard. But that's thinking, it's not that hard. At the end of the day, it's really it, not. It, I I. 
It's really Always not that put hard. Always kids first, but maybe she really yeah. doesn't know. Get it. Yo, exact to that extent. I don't think people are that fucking stupid. But are I, you I, kidding me? No, That's what I'm saying. I think you, you you don't understand. No, people they, really they, are. Common sense is not that no, common. People I'm always you. know shit. They just deny it. No, they themselves. don't. A lot they really of parents don't know. are not in tune with their children. They're not at all. A lot yeah. At all. I hope this kid. Especially if she worked like a nine to five regularly, whatever the case is, and she had an actual job like you're saying. Daytime work, when you get home and you have to cook and stuff, people don't know how to communicate with your kids because you're tired. You had a long day at work. How was school? Fine? Cool. You're not going to be like, oh, mom, I was getting bullied because I'm short, blah, 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 blah. You're going to be like, oh, it was fine because in your head she doesn't care. You're just talking to talk. Oh, mom, school is fine. This is going to fuck up the kid. If this is real, it's going to fuck up the relationship long term. It's going to fuck up the kid if the kid lets it fuck him up. Kid's 13. 13 or... If it lets him, if, if yeah, no matter he's, what, he's it's gonna fuck him up. Trying to, I mean, if he could make it like roll off of his back, then he, he would. would. It just wouldn't be here. Yeah, that's my point. Like that's so the thing. your feelings, like you can't, you can't it. deny. No. Oh, you can't deny your feelings, just like her about her stepdad. Okay, go ahead, continue. What I was no, <laughs> don't don't do that. Don't do that. What I was gonna say is, you can't help how you feel, meaning emotions. <laughs> like if you feel anger if you feel shame if you feel like depression you can't he's not choosing to feel those things At the you end- choose who you enter a personal physical relationship with that is different even if she had feelings for her dad mm-hmm. she'd have to act on that so you making that comparison him, you you tried it him being depressed and all of that i understand however what are you doing about it other than going on Reddit just to type? But he's a child. Maybe See, he that's, doesn't know what to do. What do you mean you don't know what to do? Just like you said, they have internet. They have all access to everything. The things that they know, we didn't know. So our generation that is messed up, we didn't have that expression. We did not express ourselves. Trust me, I know grown men. I have mm-hmm. a friend. He is in Who his, still can't. He's in his 30s. He still doesn't know what to that's do. That's my point. But at thir- the, the information they have now... We did not have before us. They Find did your not dad, have. kid. Find the dad. Find your dad for what? That's <laughs> Go not going to do dad. anything. Hugh, I know you grew up with both parents, why, but why the dad assume, is not the issue, man. Yeah, why do you assume that the that dad is not, not the savior? The I'm just assuming. It. Why? No, it sounds like it's a single mom issue. That is not the savior. I dad. kind of agree. It does kind of sound like that, but that's it's just it funny like. that that's your. Yeah, find your dad. That's what I'm saying. Finding your dad does not change the fact that your mom has only fans. You already heard what you heard. <laughs> People already bullied you as you feel like they did. What now? Like, they already seen it. They already know. The whole school knows already. You taking the couple days off school only made them spread it more. If somebody showed me that in class, shrug. Mm, Okay. Emotionally, maybe inside, you hurt. Once you show people you are hurt, they take advantage of that. And as kids, I understand you don't know that. However, you're not talking to anybody to know that. And you're not listening to what they're saying if you you just want to feel better in that sense. Well, he went to the principal, so he, I wouldn't be surprised. He went to the principal to say, take away their phones and yeah. suspend everybody? The principal's probably just like, fuck it. Like, like how can I do that? Exactly. The kid, but the, the kid's probably... But the, the, most, princ- but the principal's also probably just like, we can't do anything about your mom's situation. Like, this is up to your mom. The most that the principals can do is make an announcement about bullying and stuff like that. Which will make it worse. But <laughs> at the same time, there's nothing that anyone can do. And the do. guy's counselor can't do shit also. Ex- I'm not saying the guy's the counselor most can of shit. or cannot. Regardless if they're shit, at least you're trying to speak to somebody about it. Yeah, instead the of internet. Which is worse. Which is absolutely worse. It could be worse. worse. It could be better. Because I know people... The that internet is what started this only fans problem in the first place. Because I've known people that have met their best friends and stuff on the internet. Easily. Yes, I My understand that. My friend went that. to his friend's wedding like not long ago. Fucking but he's not in course. a place... You can meet... He's not in a place of meeting. From him, but he, this is not. That this situation. is a depression. The thing place. is, he's trying to find the best guidance he can, and he clearly doesn't have anyone to go to, so he went to Reddit. No, he doesn't want to have anyone to go to because I mean, he doesn't trust people. I don't know that much about people. Reddit, but I know that's not. The that's place not to the go place to, to go. No, you can find some great things on Reddit. Mm-hmm. It's the internet. Not internet when you're stuff. depressed. When you're depressed, you really only find more depressing things to make you depressed on the internet. I, I mean, don't think he's probably not. He's probably not thinking that. Like again, I know, especially at thirteen, I get it, but. If like I said, you, a lot of people. You don't have 20s, no one to talk to. Then it is what it is. He's forever going to be in his feelings because what's done is done. If you went to your school and your mom was having sex with the principal, you saw what you saw. The kids saw what they saw. Now what? 
Now, when you Why go to a new you school, go fuck the principal. That's still see, I'm but you're talking finger at the mom. Are you fucking because you're pointing fingers? Like at yeah, the end of the day, uh, be accountable for your own action. Everybody can do what they want to do. Yeah, do what you want to do, but they be smart. Why? Why you gotta fuck the principal? Because we try to get him in this good school. Who? Who fucking knows? That's a dumb way to get him to the school. It sounds like a dumb way, but when run. you're a parent, you have to do what you have to do, do what for you your kid. Do. Fast money, you know, prostitutes problems. and and people who are you know selling their body or whatever they're doing. A lot of them is not like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this for shits and gigs. And also, we don't know what she was doing for work before. Before, who what knows? If she was, she was a stripper in and. Sex work, yeah, man. But she's just like, now, now I'm going to do it my own way. Is. I don't have remember a pimp. We had a, no, remember we had a conversation about like. That makes it worse for me. No, but that's it. I mean, hey, whatever. But like, we don't know. Like, maybe she feel comfortable doing that because like that's what she was doing before. Or maybe she was doing something or in a place where she really it sounds like maybe she wasn't super empowered in her body and like now she feels good i don't know what it is i don't think it's as black and white as i maybe once initially thought when you read it because you read it you're like oh man like poor kid which i mean still poor kid and like you know i don't know with the mom it's a little um it's a little gray area for me i I know everyone feels like once you have kids like i say too like it's not really about you it's about your kids yes however you still gotta. You yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so gotta take imagine, yeah. imagine thinking one way, like everything is happy go lucky. You know, most of your life you grew up, everything was great. Mom never showed you anything bad, and all of a sudden you hear everything that your mom went through just for you to not be shit. You're just like, wow, I can't believe you know X Y Z. My mom is on OnlyFans trying. I understand he's 13 and he's not gonna see it that way, but that's what I mean, like. You, you need to obviously talk to somebody, aunts, uncles, whoever. At this point, you're ashamed and you're embarrassed. I get that. However, like, life is not that. Things are going to happen that you're going to be ashamed about, you're going to be embarrassed about. But what now? So, yes, he is just 13. Yes, the mom did not talk to him the correct way. But to me, there's no pointing fingers at anyone. Like, not him, not the mom, not the kid. I would have showed the kid, too. Like, yo... Is, isn't this your mom? Hmm. You know, maybe they didn't mean to tease him originally. Yeah, I probably did. I don't think so. No, they did because they knew it was his mom because they followed her. Twitter, I followed her. They went to her. Would you Only believe fans. it? They if I saw to her only fans, I would too. And then brought it to him. But I would isn't this too. Your mom. They know it's they know. Of it's course, it's mom. your mom. But I'm going to show you. I'm not going to whisper about it. If I wanted to bully you, I'm showing everybody but you. I'm not going to come to you in class and be like... Nobody... He didn't say it was like that. Maybe... No, that's what he said. That's why he left class. Maybe it went around the class and then it finally reached him. That's normally how it goes. I, I've had nudes spread around my school. That's normally how it goes. Everyone sees it, and then the person comes right. out. Well, yeah, I still have no. Know. I don't have any sympathy for this kid. Um, I don't have sympathy for the mom. I don't have sympathy for this situation. Actually, the kid, not the mom. I just think that like it is what it is, and what now? Like if you choose to to do something you shouldn't do. I'm not even going to say it, but if you choose to do something you shouldn't do, like... If he was 18, I weak. would say what now? But since he's 13, I'm not going to say what now. Uh, like, he... It's, I, I'm, to me, that I don't know. Uh, but I was that kid, I don't know what to do. I, I would say the best thing you can do is and just embrace it. I would talk to my mom. Mom, honestly, I really don't like this. And, like, you make did. me want to kill myself. No, you went... I don't think he... Like, you're 13. You're not going to go about it in a respectful way he's at probably 13. probably not even going to get that point. You're, you're going to whine about it. Just do it and if he does do it then you didn't have a conversation about anything Mm. and that's what that's what the problem with people in general are is nobody wants to talk about real problems and what like how to converse isn't it up to the mom to teach the kid how to do that that's what i'm saying it is how she could respond to that she is not the right way and that's why i said point the finger back at the mom you can point it at her but in her eyes what is putting clothes on your back what is making you eat you, you know that good Lunchables that you love to bring to school? Where, where do you think that comes from? Fast money, long-term problems. It could be long-term problems, no, but... fast money, always No money, problems. everybody's dead and homeless. There's people that would rather be Because if there was a dad and your dad's not helping and this is what I have to resort to, this is what I have to resort to. Still pointing the finger at you. Why would you fuck a bum-ass nigga? I'm still pointing the finger at you. I'm still pointing the finger at you. You're 20, you're old enough to know. Nah, I'm still pointing the finger at you. Nah, if that, if me, if I'm a parent, I'm gonna point the finger at myself. I'm responsible for this person. 
I'm still always and they're eating and, and they have a nice roof over their head. They still. have a roof over their head, nice or not. They have a roof over their head. They have material things. Is it worse the long term mental? However, damage? but you have to understand that like most people do think that way. You're thinking the way you do because of what you've been through. No, I'm just thinking of it more logically. Because of what you've been through, you're a logical thinker. Yeah. Not everybody thinks logically. They think yeah. situationally. Fast money. In this situation, I have no money. But here are people talking to me about OnlyFans and, you know, this girl at my old job, she had OnlyFans and she was bringing home like 5K a month. Like, what could I do with 5K? Are you crazy? And I look way better than her. I'm going to subscribe to an OnlyFans. I'm going to make one mm. on the lows, mm. respectfully away from my son. Mm. Like Joe said, like maybe she didn't even know she had some of the friends or the kids at the school on Twitter. On Twitter. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter if they did. They're going to find it. See, I, I can't agree with that. Because like I said before, years ago, there was a lady who she literally did one porn video. One. And somehow some kid at the school found it. One porn video. That's like, okay, that's like me being on this podcast. And then Caden comes to me upset. Oh, my friends are making fun of me because you're on the podcast talking about you eat pussy. <laughs> so you want me to be like, guys, sorry, I can't do this no more. You know, Caden feels very uncomfortable. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. I'm going to have a conversation with him about it because at the end of the day, what your friends, well, obviously not the podcast, but the only fans thing. That's a big people thing. It's mm-hmm. not for little kids. It's not on YouTube. It's not just out there on the internet in a sense. It was private. You have to be a certain age yeah, for these honest. things. We're, we're, we're jerking our See, but at 11. I hear what you're saying, that's but us, now you're being accountable. The kids have to, like, it's not for you. So yeah. my mom's doing this for adults. It's not like a grown man came to him and was like, oh, oh this is your mom. It's nah, it's kids. Like, I understand he's I'm 13. Pointing, I'm still pointing the finger at the But parent. I don't think we can point fingers at the mom for the having the OnlyFans. Nah, for how man. she dealt with the child, I can understand. Kids, take this in. Fast money, long-term problems. Anything that's fast money mm, comes with long-term sometimes. problems. Sometimes. Most of the time. Drug dealing. Jail for 20, 30 years. What about Porn. Crypto? You're going to... You're, you, crypto's crypto. not fast money. Right. Crypto's not fast money. Crypto's like long-term, 10, 20 I'm years. Joking. Fast money, long-term problems, kids. Fast money, long-term problems. I slightly disagree. Think of anything that has fast money, a lot of the time they have long-term problems. If you buy a pair of shoes for $300 and sell it for 400 and then buy another pair for 200 and then keep flipping it, that's fast money, but it's not long-term problems. I it's, would say it's fast money. That's an investment. But it's fast. It takes... I, I have a, sh- a friend that's in a... Like, he he used to just flip sh- flip shoes, and then he made a business out of it. It's now registered business and everything. All right. But it's still fast Exception money. Exception doesn't match the rule. I'm thinking about drug dealing, porn, stripping, pimping, all that kind of stuff. Gambling. That are fast money always tend to have a long-term problem. I don't think stripping has long-term problems. Of course it does. Stripping has long-term problems. Why? Who? How many strippers are good in their forty and fifty? Most not. I mean, but the long-term. Oh, I, I think off. I think you're thinking a about originally they what start off with pay because you said a lot. He's just long. saying fuck Come off on, in general. Really, oh, really, a lot really, of nigga. Eugene. <laughs> I'm not saying it to you. I'm just in general. Just oh, a really nigga. I was like, don't talk to me that way. <laughs> um, no, a lot of um, how many a lot of people who strip do it to like paid their way for, for a certain amount of time and, you know and they, potential long-term promise fast money long-term problems it's still going to cause problems in the long term why would it, it still ca- I don't think cause so, that problem in the long term because if right now any sort of sex work has a long term like sex work in general all of them like porn look at the average suicide rate in porn but she's not necessarily having sex she's probably just taking nudes and you know f- most porn stars only last like three years i don't know that it's like porn no that's why sometimes when I look at porn, it's like, should I even look at this stuff? It's a pretty fucked like, up industry. I'm thinking of a 22-year-old girl who probably, you know, barely graduated high school, you know, mentally does not have the the time or energy to go to college and pursue something. UPS. I cannot live in this house and da-da-da-da. I understand what you're saying, Hugh. FedEx. I get what you're saying. There's other options. However, not everybody USPS. can do anything. Because UPS, if I have no job, I cannot do UPS. I'd rather sell my booty hole. I can't do the door-to-door thing. I can't. Like, me being me, I cannot. It's a pretty easy job. (laughs) It sounds easy to you because you do it. No, UPS is easier than my job. To each his own, though, Hugh, to be fair. I mean, come on. Outside all day in the sun, I barely can open my eyes. They're in their fucking vehicle. They just step out. But to you, some people don't even like to drive. 
Some oh people don't God. like to sit in one. This is some, some people first are scared. World. Everything child. is me. This is why. It it is a, okay, here's I the thing, I look at right? the world no, sometimes. No, Eugene, it is a first world problem. And I'm just problem. like, you're a Western It is a first world niggas, problem. It's a first world problem, but you're living in the first world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I look at it and I'm just, What's my first world problem? I'm not complaining about shit. I'm not saying you, like anybody. If you're know, in a first world that's... country, yeah. all your problems are first world problems. I just look towards the east sometimes and be like, you know what? I need to shut the fuck up. You look to the east? Yeah, go to fucking look at Africa. To look at some other places. Look oh, eastwards. They look do southernwards. What they and need be like, to you do. know what? You mean like wait? Look at what's going on in fucking Cuba right east. now. But yeah. they do what they need to Fuck do at the me, end of the day. Man. When you have kids, you do what, what you need to do. So if plane. I'm if I'm a 23 year old girl who just had a baby by a guy I thought loved me and X Y Z, and we were supposed to have this child happy, and now I'm high and dry with this child. What am I gonna do? Late at night, I'm going to go strip and make some money. I'm not stripping for 20, 30 years. I'm stripping for now because I need to meet ends meet right now. Do your thing. So even if you're saying, you know, do the UPS thing. Okay, I go do the UPS. UPS too. That's the United Postal Service. <laughs> they make even better money. So you don't need a degree. Not everybody can do certain things. Like even what I do, people are just like, nah, like Dude, nah. Those motherfuckers in my deep with our fucking peg legs just like. Because doing they're the doing job. what they have to do. Yeah. And UPS. she's doing what she has to do. Go the post office, kids. She's go doing what she carrier. has to do. You don't do. have a degree or anything? Go go be a carrier. There's not that there's no jobs. There's no jobs that you want to do. Every time I hear about, there's no jobs. There's no jobs. There's if, no jobs that you don't want to if, do. If That's my the mom, problem. If my mom had an OnlyFans as a kid, putting myself in a 13-year-old body, yes, I would be upset. I understand that. But I personally, like now that I'm older, I would rather my mom do what she want to do then every day i look at my mom and see how miserable and uncomfortable and how she like how do you think that's going to make me feel at 13 i get home from school i'm looking at my mom and of course she's going to treat me a type of way when parents hate their job they don't come home to their kids hi baby how is no you bring that home and you try not to but you do at the end of the day i'm gonna stick by what i said fast money long-term problems I'm gonna still point the finger at the mom. I got it's not black and white. I'm gonna point the I just think mom. there's no oh, pointing fingers. It's a little you bit know? gray. I'm still gonna point the finger at you though. You gotta take responsibility. At the for end your of the decisions. day, I think the parent does have you know responsibility, um, but eh, there's situations where she may not know. She may not understand. Like there's so many possibilities. And like the only knowing. thing I think she did wrong was just the conversation. If that's how the conversation went, because you know kids don't hear what you actually say sometimes. If that is how the conversation went, that's the only thing I'll say she's wrong for. All right. Mm. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> right. I hope this is, I hope the kid turns out to be fine. Go to a therapist. No, well, you can. You only, you're 13. You don't know where the fuck No, you, you still can, technically. Don't go to your guy. Most guidance counselors suck. I've never heard anyone say anything good about a guidance counselor. Uh, oh, I love my guidance counselor. Most, every time when I, I talk to you about guidance counselor, all of them say their shit. Because they don't tell you what you want to hear. That's why No, they just, no, they're just doo-doo. Most of them are doo-doo. Guidance counselor is like, I can make a psychology practice, so I'm just going to become a guidance counselor. I well, will. <laughs> here's a little bit of guidance. Ah! Go to thissquareroom.com <laughs> <laughs> for regular updates. Thissquareroom.com slash ask or the ask us tab if you guys want to submit a question or, um, you know, a story or anything. And of course, our social media at this square room, Instagram, Twitter. My name is Jonelle. That's been Eugene and Des Wayne. Hey. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we will see you next Tuesday.